Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to review Andy signals for the month of May. But you don't have to worry, it's only four signals that were sent, two stop losses were triggered, one was closed early and the last one never triggered. But before we get there, I just wanted you guys to know I am giving away five 10k funded accounts. So that means every Friday, starting this Friday, I'll be selecting one winner to give away an account. So make sure you go over to my Instagram and that you just participate. You don't have to pay anything. You just participate in there and you can also stand a chance to win a 5k, 10k, sorry, a 10k funder account. That's about 160k in profit if you look at in our currency, right? Um, yeah, and that's about five of them. So let's get straight into this, right? Now, this review is going to go very quick, like I said. So I'm actually going to count the signals for you guys so that I don't have to go through this entire four minute video um, for you guys, actually. So there's a signal. So we're going to go through these signals, right? There was one signal over there. There was a salamut. Then there was a gold cell that you can see there, which was that one. Then there was um, a GJ that was a CPI trade that was not a trade. There was a GJ cell. And then last but not least, there was a bond Euro AUD as well, right? Now, the person who sent me this video is the reason why I get so just, I, I get upset and I lose my call at times, right? So the guy sent me the video and he says to me, you know what, Derolio, I've been in this guy's group since February, right? So is it February about three? No, 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 no. About two to three months, right? I'm thinking two months because February is the second month of the year. And he said that, you know, his expectations wasn't met. And I said, what was the expectation? He says, no, you know, I always see Andy, you know, withdrawing, you know, big profits from, from these prop firms and he's making big types of kinds of money. And I was hoping I was going to get that as well. And, and this is what I always talk about, right? Now, let's move away from the fact that whether Andy can trade or not because this video is really not aimed at deciding whether or not Andy can trade or not, right? We more focus here on whether the consumer is getting what they paid for or not. Now, before I give you a story of my life, yeah, this is the signal, right? This was the first GU trade that was sent. That order never got filled, right? This was a swing trade at a 2.81%. Then there was another trade sent, a sell on gold as well. The sell on gold. This was basically how the trade went. A consolidation. Break below structure. Then they basically had to close the trade early. If you're holding and if you're building. And then there's all of that stuff that was going on there as well. And then we had a trade on GJ. Remember this happened for the entire May. So if you joined in May, you would have probably not gotten any luck. That stop loss got triggered on GJ. And then you get another stop loss that got triggered here on Euro AUD as well. And that kind of concludes the month of May, right? Now, if you think that's bad, then, then you might think about it. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this very quickly is that because why every time, you know, you speak about, you know, Andy in particular, you'll notice that people will always say that, yes, but he can trade or but he always withdraws. Guys, this channel is not about whether they can trade or not. I don't care. Remember, everybody that we have, you know, reviewed so far as portrayed to be successful traders on social media. And then we come and we find out. But no, things are not actually what because they've they've never shown you what it is that you needed to see remember that because what they would do is, is they would take these trades based off what you want to see and that is basically blue screens and i always say that if we start making videos about can andy trade or not then i will bring up some screenshots of whether you can trade i will bring up the, no not even screens of whether you can trade or not i, I will bring up you know, uh, 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 prop firm certificates, and I will bring up all of that stuff. Now we can gauge, can he trade, can he not trade? And we would probably come to the conclusion to say that, now, I don't know how you guys measure, measure uh, successful traders, but most of us could potentially agree that he can trade because he makes money through the market. What I do not understand is that how people are not capable to fall in line with him if he's the provider of these signals and that is my question that i want to ask today is that there's people in the signal group that has been there for a year 
two years who's not even been profitable who hasn't had a single withdrawal now i have uh, poked my eye out of the gutter for a couple of seconds and that's probably a line that you would have heard from gta vicety but okay we're not here to talk about that right but think of it in this way let's move away from and he's a goat you know i'm a german eager. let's 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 move away from all of that stuff right let's move away from the i8 and 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 all of that stuff and ask yourself right as a consumer as a person paying for a provided for a service let's focus on the signals not whether andy is making 100k or not talk about the people who is paying for these services who's not making any money and i still don't understand that this man is making 20k 40k in withdrawals but he still wants to take your 500 rand he still wants to take your 30 dollars but he cannot provide the results that one would be looking for so let's assume that this is the group that you'd be focusing on right if you joined in may you would have gotten nothing you would have gotten no you came through in a negative so my question today is that right where do we draw the line because he's still selling signals i thought you would stop selling signals but no he is still this day he's still selling signals and don't come here in the comments and say, hey, but Andy's, yes, we know that with that type of, I can show you my withdrawals, uh, you know, my, 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 my withdrawal uh, emails that I get every month, probably two or three. I posted it on my Instagram uh, uh, once as well. But you know what? That doesn't justify why I can open up a signal group and take people's money for the doers. No, I always say that if you're good at trading, then do it as a standalone, right? But if you know that, you can trade or if you genuinely want to provide a service remember success is measured over a period of time now it's been a long time now do we say that andy cannot trade based on the fact that his signals is not providing the type of results that we are looking for in a signal provider or do we say that he can trade purely because he is making these big withdrawals and everybody looks up to him to be a good trader now like i said before if we were here to judge whether andy is making any money out of the market or not we'd probably agree with the fact that he is but what about the people who's paying for the service remember these people are more desperate than anybody else you know that is my question so before you want to come in the comment section and tell me yeah but andy's posting withdrawals i don't care this video is not about is can he trade can he not trade the question is where is the people who's paying for the services? Where are their money? Why are they not making any money? And th that that <laughs> that is my question. Yo, die guys. Guys, that, that is it from my side. Thank you for your time. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Cheers. Yes.